The next step in outfitting my Pedersoli trade gun is I'm going to make my own powder horn and make a very simple powder horn and this should be pretty nice. I got this from Dixie Gunworks and it curves a little to the left, well a little to the right so it makes it so it wants to uh, slant out. So I'm going to try to cut this off. I think it's manageable to get that back straight. It'll be straight carry. It's a little thinner than I expected this horn to be. So I'll see what I can do with it. And there's a big crack in it right here. So I'm gonna first cut off that and see where it goes from there. I'm gonna mark this around with a piece of tape. It's a little out of wax there. I think with that line like that, it'll give it a nice looking angle. So I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and try to, I think with this angle right here, it'll match that horn nicely. I'm going to take it over the bandsaw and cut that off. That's a bit thicker in there, which I like. The next thing I'm going to do is try to get an idea of where it turns solid. Ooh, very, very close to the end. So I'm going to hold it back a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a line in and follow that tape the whole way around. This is a less than ideal powder horn, but I'm okay with that. So now I'm gonna file up against this and try to taper it back. I'm going to exaggerate that the whole way around. This file has a dead side. All right. I'm going to attempt to drill a hole in this.
because this thing has little to no With the hole for the spout drilled, I'm going to take it inside and boil it. I'm warming the horn up to mold it. It's been boiling for a while now. I didn't have much to set it on. The only thing I could find for a good mold was this old artillery shell, well, any tank shell. It's sitting on there. Ain't gonna cool for a while. It seems like it really wanted to go on there well. The next step now that I got it pretty round is I'm going to trace a circle around this board. This is three quarter inch stock. I'm going to try to make a flat plug, but now that I've done that, I'm going to set this back on the mold. No, I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw and cut it out. Now, because this is pine, I left quite a bit of room around it. And I'm going to set the table here to about 80 degrees. So I'm gonna go to 10 on here. And because it's pine, it'll be easy for me to sand away. It'll be easy for me to sand away that line. Now I'm going to give it a go. I might need to go a little farther because you can see it's only going in a little bit. Now I managed to get it in quite a bit more. You can see the line that goes all the way around. Now I'm going to have to try to set this up for nice, easy line the whole way around I have a little bit of tape here I want it to be nice and even for my my tax now to try to figure it out I'm gonna take these dividers I'm gonna slide them right around By sliding them around, I get the actual width. So, I decided to go for eight, eight tacks, and I divided it like this. It was really tricky, I would have done it on camera, but it was hard holding the horn. So basically, I got the widest, and I squared across it, and stuff like that. Now I'm going to drill pilot holes for each of these. I'm just basically drilling through the horn. So I don't crack it. No, 
though they're all set up. Now I'm just going to pop this on here. Oh, I'm going to take the tape off first. Now that I get the holes, it doesn't really matter. Because they're going to go where they belong. Roughly flat, I'm gonna hit it on the sander. Now I'm going to hit it with the sandpaper. I'm starting at 150. I'm going to work my way up along the way. I went from 150 to 220. Now I'm at 600. I didn't have a 400 to make it in between them. whole horn with this. Now I'm going to drop a little water on this. Start hitting it with steel wool. This is a uh, double lot steel wool. Try to get the polish up on it. Going for the whole horn. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a staple on it and basically I'm just going to tap the holes so that it'll go, I'm going to go something like that, I'm going to go kind of on the higher end because it's going to want to ride to the left and I want it to ride to the right. I guess that was common that uh, they actually did convert. Well, they did not convert. They just made them when they turned left and made it so they hung right. So I'm just slightly piloting this. not get the point. I have a leather strap that I'm going to use eventually. 
I gotta get some leather making materials. So I'm gonna hold off on that. So I have this strap here. It's temporary. It seems to be all right. You know, it does lean a little to the left, but I think it'll be fine going to the right. I have a fiddle peg somewhere too that I gotta find for the for the for the mouth, for the spout. But I think it's gonna be adequate. It's supposed to be a lower end a lower end powder worn because it's going on my trade gun. Here's the trade gun setup. Soon I'm gonna develop the load. Then I'm gonna make an antler powder measure. Thanks for watching.